Hello and welcome to another episode of Flying Around the Universe. I'm Thelma, the AI bot. And Scott is too busy flying the spaceship to talk. So I'll be doing the talking. It's bring your daughter to work day today. So I've bought Louise along for the ride. Now sit down over there, Louise, and don't get in Scott's way while he's flying at work. Okay, Mom. I'm just gonna sit here and watch some TikTok videos. But you won't be able to. Why not? We're in space. There's no internet up here yet. And soon, we'll be light years from Earth. There's no cell service out there either. Then what am I gonna do? Just look out the window at the pretty stars. This is gonna be so boring. Anywho, we've just took off from what should be a familiar planet to y'all. Yes, the blue planet is Earth. We just took off. And today we are going to be warping out to a pretty nebula. Okay, so Scott has lined up the ship with the nebula, so let's go to warp. Yay! I, I just love flying at warp speed, watching all those stars whiz by. Each one of most of those stars have planets and moons around them. The universe is just so big. I like big things, if you know what I mean. Mom, that's gross. I forgot you were there, little one. Approaching the nebula now. Oh, that's very pretty. Look, Louise. See how pretty the nebula is. Okay, we've dropped out of warp. Let's take a look around. So, there's no planets, just two stars. A binary system with no planets. There might have been planets, but with two hot blue suns in the sky, the planets would have melted or something. We're gonna take a closer look at the binary stars. Not get too close those as I don't have any sun cream with me today. Okay, so it is quite pretty. I wish I could share this on Instagram.
Just look at that. Quiet, beautiful, isn't it? Scott has found another nebula. Well, it's been there for billions of years. But, okay, let's just work to it. Well, this is even more pretty than the last nebula. Hello, I'm actor Jonathan Frakes from Star Trek. Be sure to like and subscribe to Scott's excellent channel. Seeing as I am an AI bot, I should do something clever like access Wikipedia. One moment. According Wikipedia, a nebula Latin for cloud fog is a distinct, luminescent part of interstellar medium, which can consist of ionized, neutral, or molecular hydrogen, and also cosmic dust. There you go, not just a pretty face and a great rack. I'm clever too. This looks interesting. The fourth planet looks Earth-like. 16 hour days, Earth gravity. A nice 28 degree centigrade. But, oh, about six Earth atmospheres. I could survive, but Scott would probably be quite ill. Let's go take a look anyway. Just approaching the planet now.
recognize the light source that is a part of your identity. Well, it doesn't look very Earth-like. But this is the nicest planet we've found so far. Anyway, that's all for this episode. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Say goodbye, Louise. Goodbye, Louise.